Good morning. Good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our distinguished lecture webinar series. My name is Rachel Satriam. I'm the director of the Institute for Informatics and Automation Problems of the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia. And before I would like to care of some housekeeping tasks, you can ask your questions in the Q&A panel and Professor Shukurian will answer as many questions as he can following the presentation. When you are writing your question, if it is related to a particular slide, please do your best to reference that slide. The webinar is being recorded and the recording will be made available after the webinar. This year alone, over 16,000 articles have been published in the Computer Society Digital Library, including topics such as big data, computer vision, vision IT practices, and more. Amongst the various publications, IEEE Transactions on Computers remains the Society's flagship journal and features the latest research by leaders within the industry and academia. Furthermore, you can connect and grow with other professionals via our technical committees and conferences. More information will be shared after the webinar, where you can also learn more at computer.org. In today's webinar, Professor Sanvel Shukurian will, prese will present Armenia, signing up with the world computer science community and building a new heritage in computer science and engineering. So Armenia has a strong cultural and scientific heritage, and the aim of this webinar is to present the history of computer science and engineering in Armenia, starting from 1956. Current achievements in research and development, perspective for further expansion and the heritage in computer science and engineering to be left to upcoming generation of Armenian researchers and engineers. I would like to introduce our distinguished speaker, Professor Samvel Shukurian, who received a Doctor of Science degree in Physics and Mathematics in 1990 and the academic rank of Professor in Computer Science and Software Engineering in 1993 from the Supreme Certification Board in Moscow. In 1996, Professor Shukurian was elected a full member of the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, and currently he is the scientific leader of IT Educational Research Center of the Yerevan State University. Since 1994, simultaneously with the work at Yerevan State University, he has been Chief Scientific Advisor and Development Director in different international companies. Since 2000, he has been Director of the Department of Embedded Test and Repair at Eras Logic Corporation, United States, and since 2010, the same department at Synopsis Inc., again United States. He has authored more than 100 refereed papers, holds 12 U.S. and one Russian patents, and received the State Award of Armenia. So now I would like to give the floor to the Professor Shukurian to start his presentation. Please go ahead, Professor Shukurian. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Satyan, for, for your kind introduction. Uh, hello, all. Uh, we will start, because related to, to bio, we already have passed. We will start with the content. I'm going to, to, to speak about historical background, especially about uh, the heritage Armenia has, and most importantly, about the heritage in computer science and engineering. And, uh, after c coming to, to, to nowadays, uh, we, we will consider main current directions and uh, the achievements there, as well as new achievements in education. And finally, we will discuss a couple of uh, uh, like uh, episodes relating to industry academia uh, cooperation in the modern Armenia. This is briefly, and I would like also to mention specially uh, that uh, the, the industry review and uh, the evaluation of achievements mainly reflects my 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 vision, my point of view, and do not purport uh, to be exhaustive. 
uh, and uh, also uh, I received many data from uh, from different companies and organizations relating to modern development and research, and they are adduced uh, without any changes. Thank you. Moving forward. Thus, we, we will start with Armenia. Just to understand that for 4,000 years, Armenia has always been situated in a cultural, historical, and religious crossroads, bridging Europe and Asia. And uh, at the currently, uh, the map of Armenia was changing very often, and, but currently Armenian state lies in the southern Caucasus between the Black and Caspian Seas, bordered by Georgia and Azerbaijan on the north and east, and by Iran and Turkey on the south and west. Armenia has a strong cultural and scientific heritage of several millennia being the first state to adopt Christianity to, uh, as a state religion and um, uh, in, in three, 301. Uh, and the Arab Valley also is, is, uh, well, is uh, considered as inhabited uh, since the early Stone Age. And this makes its, uh, this region as the oldest settled regions in the world. And uh, modern Armenia became independent uh, from the USSR in 1991 and held its free presidential elections shortly thereafter. And the government Armenia, uh, uh, from the uh, very beginning, uh, uh, has pursued uh, aggressive ec economic reforms to slash inf inflation and to initiate several strategic programs with a special emphasis on IT. Uh, and uh, the, uh, he, uh, I would like to also to mention that capital of Armenia is Yerevan, and uh, we will speak about a uh, this a bit later, and population uh, per to 2010 uh, estimate is about 300,000 uh, 300, people, and the currency is Armenian drum. Yeah, well, uh, probably this is all briefly, and we will move to 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 the next uh, to to the consideration of Armenian heritage. As I said, Armenian heritage is very big and very, very like uh, and uh, and uh, and miscellaneous, uh, very very many. Uh, well, and unfortunately, it is impossible to reflect, and also due to uh, restrictions on time, we do not have a possibility to consider all just several examples. For example. You see here the oldest shoe in the world. It is 6,000 years shoe. You see the uh, the sculpture of uh, uh, pagan god, uh, goddess, Armenian goddess Anahit, also very ancient, very old. This is the statue of our uh, of our uh, uh, hero uh, David from Sassoon. Uh, we will speak about this uh, the sculpture a bit later, I believe. Here you see the ruins of. Erebony Fortress, which is like uh, uh, our capital, Yerevan, started from this uh, Erebony, and he, uh, here is a, a stone monument, uh, like witnessing that the age of Yerevan is more than 2,800 years. Here also on the uh, below uh, is uh, is uh, the, our uh, depository of manuscripts and contains very ancient and very unique manuscripts, uh, especially most important Armenian manuscripts are here as well. Uh, and here you see the Ripsime temple. Uh, this is the first uh, one of the first Christian temples in Armenia. As, uh, as I said before, Armenia adopted Christianity in 301. So you can understand that uh, the, uh, if you see, this is a modern building, and this is like a building built so in trio in in the fourth century, and you see the similarity of the architecture. And by the way, the, these buildings are. Um, uh, and this demonstrates uh, the, the knowledge of Armenian architects who were able to do such kind of buildings. And, 
it's, uh, you know, uh, for the, um, uh, so this is one point. This is more, more uh, the, this on the picture you see two first presidents of Armenian National Academy of Sciences. They were famous scientists, uh, uh, Yosef or, or, or Josep or, or Belli, Yosef or, or, or Belli was the director of uh, St. Petersburg's Hermitage, a famous like museum and institution, scientific, and Viktor Hambar Sumyan was, uh, was a famous astrophysicist, well-known in his domain. So this is one. And here you see also the Mount Ararat and our capital, Yerevan, uh, as well as the building of Yerevan State University. Uh, all, uh, all the details and information you can take from uh, the book named uh, the Multimedia book named Armenian Heritage, uh, the link to that book, as well as uh, you see uh, barcode, you, you, you can take from, from the slide. And uh, we are, but I don't want to talk more about this heritage because my aim is to, to speak about the uh, new, newer heritage in computer science and engineering, which was, uh, which has uh, uh, less history, but uh, also has achievements, and we can proudly say that we have some heritage in computer science and engineering as well. Moving forward, uh, I would like also to 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 to, to stay just a mi minute, uh, just a second for for the uh, for, for our um, Armenian language, which is very like, uh, uh, and say a couple of words about Armenian alphabet, which was created, like in in 405 by Mesro Mashtots. And uh, and uh, this alphabet also is very specific and co covers like almost all sounds, <laughs> and it is easy very to express in Armenian any any kind of languages, etc. Et um, sounds in, present in uh, other languages. Uh, and uh, by the way, the, the great Lord Byron. Uh, 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 new Armenian, and he said, said once, "Let like Armenian is a language to speak with God." Uh, of course, uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, just for for your information. Let's move forward and move to, and go to now to our to our, our to 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 the heritage in. Uh, in computer science and engineering, I would like to, to uh, so I would like to start with the sculpture, uh, which is uh, currently uh, in, in the in the building of or in the yard of the Institute of Mathematical Machine. Institute of Mathematical is a pioneer of our Armenian computer science and engineering, and it was it was established in 1956, and it, it is very interesting and. Uh, the, why this sculpture? By the way, he he, he was uh, also the author of of the sculpture of David from Sasun. I, I said uh, a couple of minutes ago. Uh, so here uh, you see that uh, uh, knowledge has become a cult and a vital and vital commodity uh, to all countries businesses and individuals in 21st century, and uh, you know because knowledge-based economies, knowledge-based societies, etc. And it is, it is really notable that already in 1972, uh, this sculpture was, and which was titled Muse of Knowledge. It was presented to, to, uh, to the Institute by, uh, by, by our famous sculptor, Irvan Kuchar. And as you see, uh, this uh, news, uh, uh, this godness of knowledge was uh, represented in the form of a woman but uh, as you see, it is not completed. Uh, it is not like uh, some parts of the body are not completed yet. They are on the way to be built, and it is also laying on a laying on a on a, on a pedestal as an operating table for a scientist, as uh, like um, uh, of a scientist. Uh, just to, it is in the process of creating, it's in the process of building. And uh, this presence also on the backside, it is not seen in the, in the photo, but uh, the, the, uh, there is a jack 
uh, there is a jug uh, under under the neck of which a boil is placed, and this boil uh, it is also uh, like it reflects the sacred nature of the sculpture. It means that if somebody uh, drinks from the boil, he like uh, is hearing. Uh, uh, and the new knowledge, etc. Uh, very interesting sculpture. Donat, uh, so uh, and two two important questions here: How Kochar was able to predict that computer science and engineering will be uh, will be that among the leaders in building new knowledge? This is one question. Have no idea about that. But most importantly is that according to Kochar, this sculpture uh, this sculpture should reflect that um, uh, when it will when we will come to light. And we hope very much uh, that our specialty will be still among the leaders uh, when we arrive at, uh, at an answer to this question. Uh, uh, this is probably, and uh, so we move to, to 1956 when the Yerevan Scientific Research Institute of Mathematical Machine, uh, some, uh, it is, uh, uh, sometimes it is named Yerevan Computer Research and Development Institute, was established in 1956, but I took the original name, Yerevan Scientific Institute of Mathematical Machines. So it was established in 1956 by an initiative from Armenia led by, by a talented mathematician, Sergei Mergilian. He was the youngest doctor of science in the history of the USSR. Uh, he received a degree in, uh, in age of, uh, at age uh, 20 and then became corresponding member of the the USSR Academy of Science is also very uniquely at the age of uh, 24. And the legend has it that uh, his abilities and scientific achievements made uh, such a huge impression on comment, uh, considered it necessary to establish the institute in, uh, in Yerevan. Of course, probably in reality it was not so, but uh, this, that's uh, like um, uh, considered this legend as a start. So, Mergilan, uh, what is the main uh, like um, uh, achievement of Mergilan? During his four years of uh, being director of institute, he was scientific directions and built self-replicating and self-sustainable scientific schools for the institute, which include almost all directions of computer science and engineering. And already in 1959, uh, 1959 uh, the institute uh, designed its first generation uh, computer Aragas uh, running on vacuum. And in 61, the second generation computer already on semiconductor elements. And uh, we can say that the era of computers and uh, together, uh, uh, to, together uh, with it, its hardware and software development began in Armenia due to the great initial push of Sergei Merkina. This is the reason I believe why people uh, from the day of foundation are commonly calling this uh, it is com the institute is commonly co called Mergelan Institute we will also uh, preserve this name uh, during our further discussions and uh, this institute designed uh, has designed mini computers mainframes automated management and control systems as well as operating systems networking applications software employing it was uh, employing uh, alone was employing around 8000 people in 80s and uh, meantime uh, Mergidan was understanding clearly that uh, it's also important to have something like deep diving deep more deeper research and he created another institution at the academy national academy of sciences the institute uh, and, uh, um, uh, issued for informatics and automation problems. Uh, it was it was established in uh, and also led by Mergilan in 1957. And uh, that's uh, uh, I would like also to mention a couple of um, other persons who who who, who consider something like us as pillars as people who were uh, who established all this. 
uh, like um, directions. And so the second person I would like to mention was Father Isarksyan. His role, role was very important. He was able to initiate and thoroughly develop the evolving technological infrastructure for computer development and manufacturing. Uh, uh, this is what uh, what is currently uh, named life cycle, and he was able to, to cover uh, the uh, like life cycle for computers. Uh, 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 you, uh, uh, developing this infrastructure, the build, the complex of uh, current acting co complex of building is uh, is constructed in the form of a pentagon and covered all the necessary like uh, building which are uh, which are necessary for for development and manufacturing of computers. It was uh, a real achievement at that time, early sixties. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and uh, so I believe that this is a real achievement. Uh, the second achievement was he was able also to create something like a financial infrastructure a uh, in the form of a pipeline for sustainable development of the institution that brought the institute regular financial injections for, for decades, for ma many decades. And this is all. He was serving as a prime minister of Armenia, as a president of the National Academy. But I believe that from the uh, history of computer science and engineering, though, Fadi Sarksyan in establishing technological infrastructure and financial infrastructure is very important. We are moving forward to, 90, to, the, to the direction of 90 mini, mini computers. And here uh, I would like to, to mention especially uh, the chief designer of 90 computers, uh, Rachehov Sepian. He, he, he became later la laureate of State Award of the USSR. And uh, so, uh, what, what is very specific? What, what is the like? Um, uh, uh, what is the peculiarity of what? What are the peculiarities of Nairi, which allow to say that it, it was a landmark achievement for Soviet computer engineering? You know, uh, everything started with this. The group of developers from uh, Maryland Institute at the exhibition in Moscow have seen uh, had seen uh, 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 a French comp mini computer DAB five hundred. And they decided to, to develop similar computer, but uh, with completely, totally uh, like original uh, decisions in computer architecture. Uh, in microprogramming, in parallel control, in common memory, to uh, really very unique, uh, uh, which which uh, um, and solutions which were patented in France, England, Germany, and Japan, and further <clears throat> uh, uh, also a user a, a simpler user I interface was for the, this computer, and they were the first who understood the, uh, the importance of uh, computer, of, uh, uh, of being like user-friendly, and uh, developed everything for that. Uh, the language was very like user-friendly for that time, and also the possibility of adding new microcode which will support uh, the different applications and uh, which allowed very shortly uh, to cover a huge, a big range of applications. All this brought to, to the important to the to the situation where Nairi was well adopted for the Soviet Union and was used everywhere because uh, the users were really satisfied. It was simpler. It was it, it covered a lot, and especially when they at the late models of Nairi, they started to emulate at different other computers. For for example, well known PDP eleven. This brought also to the to the situation when you could use PDP-11 software at uh, running uh, at Nairi computers. This also was very important. This emulation, it was first time, and due to that, we consider this as landmark achievement for the. The second direction is relating to defense-oriented autonomy. 
quality control systems. And here uh, we have a person also very important played an important role in, in creating a Soviet global network and also all the specialized computing systems and special purpose automated systems integrated uh, within the unified automated control system of the U.S. armed forces. Uh, this particularly include, to include the specialized multi-processor multi computer complex SEVAN and basic sets of automated con control systems that's important for the, for the defense. And uh, his, uh, this is academician Robert Atoyan, uh, uh, the, also the person who did it. And due to that, the institute played an impo very important role in, in the Soviet Union relating to that. And it was conferred by, by, by the Red Labour Banner. Uh, and Atoyan received also the prize award, the highest state award for scientists in the USSR. Um, and uh, uh, you, you see on the, on the photo at the bottom, you see the visit of uh, Minister of Defense and with uh, multiple very important um, uh, um, uh, military, uh, military officers uh, attending the uh, Mergilan Institute due to its uh, important, very important role. And uh, uh, the, um, uh, the last but not least person I would like to mention here is Arman Kuchukyan, who was the pioneering the development of United System computers in the Soviet Union. United System in Russian is Yedina Sistema, and abbreviation is YES. So we will name this com computer CS, but uh, using uh, this abbreviation, uh, in like uh, which corresponds to English EC. But in Russian, it is read, it is read as um, YS. So, uh, and he started his career developing a special multi computer for, for railway stations. And uh, well, it was very important to create re reliable computers. And so the three computers were merging like in multi-computer. And this was like something like a prototype of multi-computers, of modern multi-computers. And this, this was all after that, he started as a chief designer of these yes, type computers and was able to, to, to develop a very important direction named reverse engineering and create all the necessary tools for this rails engineering, like automation systems, etc., uh, which were, so he could be considered as a founder and pioneer also of reverse engineering. And he did also many, many important uh, works for, for Armenian industry and Armenian later during the independence time. Uh, this is probably all, and we can now consider that uh, what kind of main uh, research and development achievements were during the Soviet era and what kind of uh, 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 and which institutions were participating. As I mentioned already two institutions. In addition to them, the Department of Computers, of Informatics and Computer Systems at the National Polytechnic University was engaged in that in, in uh, like, uh, preparing specialists for for the um, uh, for, for for the industry and for the research, as well as um, uh, in, in participate, uh, participating in the research. At, this, uh, at the fourth body is Faculty of Informatics and Applied Mathematics at, at Yerevan State University. It was founded in 1969, uh, while uh, the, uh, the department at Polytechnic University was founded in 1963. And uh, these four were like uh, were, were the starters, the initiators of research. Later, uh, some computing centers at, me, at local Armenian ministries, as well as uh, the f um, uh, branches of closed institutions, uh, of all union uh, closed institutions, also on def defense oriented, uh, were opened and this uh, all were participating in the corresponding research. And uh, uh, so, and uh, the Mergilan Institute played a vast role, and a lot of uh, uh, personnel was 
awarded by uh, highest prices orders and medals. Uh, 380 patents were issued, and uh, uh, for example. Now let's move to specific directions, for example, direction of theoretical computer science and applied mathematics. As I said, we can consider different branches, for example, automate and Boolean functions. The achievements are listed. I would like just to mention very briefly uh, several like mm, uh, important ones. For example, related to automata, uh, uh, besides the mentioned list of achievements, uh, we would uh, 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 we would uh, like underline the polynomial algorithms for equivalence problem deterministic multi-table automata. This the algorithmic solution was opened since 1959 and was uh, and the solution was received very recently. That related to algorithms, but mathematical logic, a lot of um, investigations in in uh, relating to uh, which had a direct application, for example, in synthesis of programs uh, and other like uh, applied directions were developed here and they are listed uh, i don't want to mention in coding and information theory we also uh, should mention results in uh, relating to um, estimation of channel uh, transmission errors probability cryptography information security information theory and specifically uh, well-known varsham of gilbert's bond or uh, uh, or safer plus uh, the family of block uh, ciphers uh, well known in the world so uh, this is the uh, points we are we're proud of the achievements there and artificial intelligence model inductive synthesis or combinatory uh, algorithms right so we should mention uh, in pattern recognition a lot of works. Uh, I, I forgot here in automated but mention also works in Boolean functions like metrical theory of Boolean functions, foundations of the theory of disjunctive normal force. All these have very important uh, like uh, uh, results and, and further applications uh, in uh, fast or orthogonal transformations. Here we also and their application in problems of image processing, like in in, in transport in um, uh, uh, and the uh, results in theory of graphs, uh, perfect Hamiltonian interval graphs, algebraic structural problems of graph, and as well as developed application of the received results to VLSI and printing board design, numerical mo 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 uh, methods, quasi singular classes of elliptic patients, etc. And, uh, and finally, theory of programming, program schemata, semantics of programming languages, program synthesis, mathematical problems related to logic and, and logic programming and functional programming and temporal databases. Everywhere we in the list that we have uh, achievements published and, and referred by many researchers. Uh, when we were well, Engineering. Uh, here we should understand that there were three directions, as I mentioned already: uh, direction of mini computers, which established in uh, was established in 1962, and uh, with Nairi computers, I, I already told a bit, and uh, just wanted to mention that mass production, mass production of Nairi uh, has continued for 20, uh, 12 years. At, uh, at factories in Armenia, as well as in uh, Kazan and Baku, Azerbaijan. Okay, uh, so uh, another special family of mini computers, which was continuing, also was used, but for military purposes. It was named Kovyor. Uh, in Russian, Kovyor means carpet. So it was covering a different kind of uh, like mini computers necessary. And the direction of mainframes, I told already, it was also established in 1962. But uh, later, the most achievements were relating to uh, to uh, after uh, to the to this year's type of computers, and it was a very balanced model, uh, uh, like of the uh, uh, starting from second uh, um, uh, generation. Armenian models uh, uh, became like leaders in the in like uh, um, the, uh, 
in, in, in distribution among the USSR. And for example, 8,000 years 45s were they distributed among the, among the, uh, within the USSR, as well as they were exported also in Czechoslovakia and India. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, uh, also the third direction was the highly reliable computers and distributed systems for defense. I had a chance and uh, ev everything started with uh, the computer, uh, the processing, uh, uh, they were covering processing nodes of this global network. And, uh, and uh, it's, everything started from, from a computer named SVK. It was uh, the, the system of the, uh, the set of instructions was different from, uh, it was not cloning IBM, it was a separate uh, set of instructions. And due to that, the operating uh, system should, should, be de uh, should, uh, should be developed at that time uh, separately. So it was a huge effort well put and the system was developed and it was working properly. You understand that uh, reliability-wise and um, also absence of bugs, etc., was important by like criteria which, which, uh, which uh, these systems had to, to, to satisfy, and everything was done within that part. Now, uh, uh, listing these three main directions, now we will consider specific achievements in these three directions, what were, uh, in the, uh, which might be interesting for scientific community. So, and now we, can see, we will start with computer architecture. And here research was done in area of multiprocessing, in area of workload analysis, in area of reliability and performance evaluation for, uh, and in area of creation, of creation of specialized array processors, uh, of uh, structuring and buffering memories, hardware accelerator for arithmetic and logical operations. Uh, and this part mainly was done without clones, without like, uh, uh, without any uh, evident prototypes. Specialized peripheral devices uh, with the standard uh, ES interface and microprocessors. Uh, related to assist, I would say that this assist initially is where inter as dedicated sets of micro programs providing tolerance to the degradation as well as support of operating systems and some engineering tasks like fast Fourier transforms, etc. Uh, uh, but later we were able to create basing on that a special dynamic adaptation system which were the uh, working di which were uh, increasing performance dynamically uh, was finding bottlenecks in the computer uh, uh, like in the software uh, lowering uh, lowering down uh, the, the the corresponding parts of the software uh, transforming them uh, into a microcode and then executing uh, the task again and there were evident achievements in that area uh, and uh, was uh, very important uh, achievement, I believe, at that time. Uh, next, uh, next was the field of electronic design, simulation, and test. Uh, here, what was the problem? The problem was following uh, the, the level of automation was different and integration was different uh, 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 in the United States and in the USSR. And this uh, brought to the following, uh, for example, one integrated circuit had to, to be divided onto, onto several parts and, and developed in this way. And this brought uh, evident problems in timing and other other like um, power dissipation and other pro problems uh, and you you need to to solve these problems and uh, and there was a necessity to create the corresponding automated design simulation and test systems which were covering this uh, new reality uh, so uh, the and uh, and the huge work was done in that area. In the field of fault tolerant research, research was done in hardware design and for localization, registration of fault, uh, multi-level embedded recovering systems were developed, embracing different levels from hardware to operating systems. 
and the systems recovered running processes under uh, a favor condition and program tools for logout analysis and favor prediction were developed also and uh, here also i would like to add that a new methodology was added uh, unified methodology for online and offline testing so the 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 issue was how to develop tests which are common for uh, for online offline testing and online testing you know this problem still uh, is present but already at the cheap level uh, in the mod uh, currently nowadays and this is very important and they, uh, at that time it was resolved and investigations in, uh, in uh, the uh, distributed surgeon's systems of network also were done and here also uh, special devices were developed and were designed and for, which were supporting this reliability of multi computers for example if some computer was faulty and not working, the lines of peripheral, it was, it was possible to, to switch the lines of peripheral devices to other computers to continue the process without uh, reloading this data from one computer uh, to another. Uh, and I already uh, uh, told about the reverse engineering. Of course, there, there, there is uh, something like a IP related like legacy parts, like um, uh, replicating of legacy parts. Uh, legacy parts, it's not like uh, they, um, uh, it is like uh, uh, violations of law, may you cure, etc. But meantime, uh, the development of these tools which were able, I believe it was a solution of st uh, very hard technical problems. And these were solved. And now, nowadays, when we are saying reverse engineering, uh, it is bro commonly used and commonly is uh, you, uh, but here uh, were some some were some solutions which were uh, later used. And by the way, when in 1970s, when IBM specialists came and see the patents, etc., and uh, the hard uh, they didn't have any any like complaints relating to hardware. Moreover, they wanted to collaborate with the developers of ES computers, but unfortunately after um, uh, so, so Soviet army invaded Afghanistan in 1979, all the communication was stopped and nothing was done in this area. And we came to, uh, so uh, it is uh, like, because it, uh, if it, um, uh, might, uh, if it happened, uh, might ha it might happen, and, uh, and but we cannot now say it, it doesn't happen because it didn't happen because uh, I said already why, and so this was important and uh, related to automation, important results in theory of graphs, in theory of automation, able to solve very very. Uh, complicated and hard problems, and, and they were successfully solved, as well as uh, very often people who were engaged in reverse engineering, they even were way, f f find out bugs in original microcode, in original, like in bottlenecks in originally created devices, even early. There, uh, the, uh, like uh, the developer uh, of the original machines, it is. It was so, and uh, so we had a uh, very good specialist, and they might be used in a better way. I understand. I, I believe. Now, related to software engineering, here also I wanted to say that uh, I want to say that, for example, these access methods for telecommunications were developed first time, and special access methods for these special devices. I already talked about the special development developed for for increasing of reliability. Were also important operating system for array processors also was developed and, and uh, very importantly that uh, was successful and uh, the tools for performance analysis uh, I mentioned about that part and uh, also want to mention that we had an environment for tests and for different system test scenarios now you know these scenarios are creating every uh, more or less uh, uh, like the big company has such kind of uh, uh, environments, and at that time it was the first time successfully created and, and used for different 
purposes. Related to engineering of, of applications, I would like to mention that uh, we had uh, here like uh, trained programmers, trained developed software developers already bef before uh, before the first computers uh, were uh, constructed in Mergilan at Mergilan Institute. And uh, these uh, developers were trained in Moscow. They were led by Teodor Termikailan and they then returned to, um, uh, like, uh, the, uh, the, among the, uh, they were uh, like uh, different uh, 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 tasks considered, like, for example, uh, strategies for combinatorial games, tra translation from Ar Armenian to uh, to Russian and and vice versa, English and vice versa, and uh, also um, uh, uh, important is uh, to to mention that applications with, were developed within this huge, uh, big uh, like uh, distributed management and control system for defense purposes, and a lot of applications were de developed. And it is repeated that. Uh, very hard, in a very short time and covered a lot of and uh, which were developed at the uh, computing centers of Armenian uh, ministries uh, and uh, when the PC oriented um, uh, technologies uh, arise at the end of the Soviet Union uh, we were uh, we also have a lot of different applications developed for uh, for pieces and here I, I would like that to uh, 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 but after the crash of the Soviet Union we came to something like a collapse and uh, because uh, nothing was working, no, 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 there was no need. Uh, the defense machine was stopped, and uh, what to do? And this is uh, something. Uh, the next uh, group of slides will show how uh, the revival pro process started after this collapse. What we did, and we would like to mention especially that this. Uh, uh, this Revival started due to the key role of diaspora, Armenian diaspora. They were the first who came here and started acquired by by, by multinational companies. And this is the reason why we have here presence of many many companies here. For example, in 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 area of um, like uh, uh, chip, uh, chip design and and test. We have Synops, Siemens, Cisco, Xilinx, and many, many others. Uh, this is uh, important. Uh, and I would like also to mention especially that uh, the, the deep research started in the laboratory, which jo uh, joint laboratory of uh, leading Armenian institutions uh, like National Academy of Sciences, Yerevan State University, uh, Polytechnic University, Armenian University of Ar American University of Armenia, and Merilan Institute. And uh, the people who were working in laboratory started the, the, the re, um, doing the research. It was in the mid 90s. And finally, later, uh, they, uh, this was something like a good start that generated many publications with the published already in peer-reviewed international journals and started the, this research part. Now we will move to, to, the, um, uh, to, to the next slide, which shows that government is not a part of these activities. They are also engaged in the... Uh, 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 engaged in this and have developed, uh, spe specifically I would like to mention the Enterprise Incubator Foundation as a business development and information agency operating in Yerevan and, uh, and doing very much uh, very, very important work, we will see now. Then two, uh, two uh, known international uh, foundations, uh, CRDF and ISTC, uh, were able to 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 sign uh, corresponding local agreements with Armenian government and to 
to initiate that. Also, uh, I could mention that by annual state award of Armenia, National Medal of Science, in other words, uh, is also provided by government to stimulate development and research. Also, to, uh, the, uh, yes, uh, there is an award for best IT students, and uh, there is an uh, International Microelectronics Olympiad of Armenia under the patronage of Prime Minister of Armenia, and uh, by annual international conference on computer science and information. It was working uh, several, many like years under umbrella of IT, um, uh, IEEE computers, uh, technical sponsorship. Uh, and uh, if, if we move forward uh, to the next slide, uh, this is briefly about this conference. It has a lot of like invited uh, presentations of world and uh, also uh, uh, was uh, as uh, it can be considered as a platform for like uh, if, uh, for communicating uh, to to etc unfortunately due to covid etc last year uh, this year it was not as broad as it formerly but hoped that uh, the next conference will be more, much more broad and will be cover with cover uh, very active uh, and will, uh, will uh, lead, lead to participation of many sci scientists from abroad conference. Now let's look at this diagram which is showing how, how the development of Armenian science and education is made. Uh, I am uh, uh, most probably I'll take uh, five minutes more than uh, it was planned before for some reason. I, I was a bit late. So uh, this is like the development starting from the Soviet era and then this revival and then gradually it came to, to this form. Then we will if we look at the financial, uh, financial, um, uh, uh, you, you can see that it's completely at the financial discipline and engagement of money in this area, you can see that it is growing and growing very fast. And uh, because the slides will be present later, you can see the details during this presentation. And uh, this is uh, uh, what kind of growth it is. It is, of course, not uh, not yet more slow, but it is uh, the, the the growth is essential, and you can see that it is really essential. Uh, and this is the expert structure of the ICT. You you see that it has increased essentially, and a lot of. Expert now is provided by Armenian companies, by company, companies operating in Armenia, to be exact to say. And specifically, uh, there are U.S. companies here. Uh, there is presence of German and French companies, and uh, also related to employment and productivity. It is also uh, we we have already uh, close to uh, twenty thousand people working at two thousand eighteen. I believe now it is uh, much, uh, more. Uh, and, uh, for example, in Armenia, formerly it was about uh, 40,000 people. So we are gradually coming to the, to the same level. Uh, and here you see that uh, related to, uh, to uh, Internet services, how, how, how the growth of Internet services, and what are the, uh, this, uh, why do we come to this achievement? Because creative minds, regional innovation, uh, this, uh, successful partnerships, so, uh, like uh, bright people, access to, to like uh, also to, to, to the market of the former Soviet Union, and uh, also we have strong university program, and we and we are providing permanently sustainable growth. Oh, oh. Now we will uh, consider several companies, which are, uh, they are much more, unfortunately. I was not able to cover all of them, but I covered this. this is the f I would like to start from the company when I am working also. This is Synopsis, uh, it's Synopsis Armenia. Uh, here you see the growth of Synopsis and uh, how it was like started at what uh, came later. Uh, later, when, uh, and uh, this is the first building of Synopsis. It's, this is this one, and later uh, the second building in here one was added, and then the uh, the building in, in the second town of Armenia, Gyumri, also was added to, to this. 
here you see what is inside of these buildings, the, the workplaces and, and uh, how, how and facilities and people also. And the next I would like to mention is, it is Siemens, and Siemens also has uh, Siemens, the part of electronic design automation, has a branch in Armenia, it is former Mentor Graphics, and they also are very much engaged, but they also are employing a lot of right people, and I believe that they also have very big chances to, to, to grow much in Armenia, to increase their presence, and this is very important. The, this company, Armstrong, is very specific because it is the, I, uh, most probably the oldest Armenian private IT company. It was developed in 1987, and it covers still covers mainly uh, the local market, but it is successful, and it has uh, hundreds of successful projects and have many, many, many uh, and 20, 200 employees. As well. This is another, and this is uh, one of our new former star startup, but very successful now uh, uh, company, um, uh, uh, Pixar. And uh, this is like uh, it, it has uh, its platform is well known in the world uh, for, uh, for people, and, and also user friendliness is very important for for this Pixar. They are um, uh, very many. Uh, uh, like um, uh, the, the lot of uh, huge work is done in in, in uh, editing for editing photo photo stickers etc. And a lot of people are using their software. A lot of people are using their. Mm -hmm. and, uh, next another. This is uh, this company very recently was a startup, but they were able to to provide this AI based. Uh, noise cancellation and and provide services which are very important, very very like um, uh, for for others. And now they they are prospering. They already raised 18, 18 million USD. And they are continuing this race. Uh, this is also very important related to that. Now I would like to to say about uh, uh, about. Uh, uh, about the academia and, and the consideration. Why? Because all these companies need need, uh, need resources, and these resources are provided by the universities, by the. Uh, and this uh, this is how we started here. And uh, first, Synopsis understood this problem and has introduced a special educational department. We will have a chance to speak about that. And Father Sun came with its educational laboratories, Microsoft Innovations, regional, uh, like, uh, and others, many others. I don't uh, want uh, to, 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 to concentrate on this. Uh, I would like to mention especially the role of the National Academy of Sciences, um, because after the collapse, they had hard days as well as others, but they were able to, pros to, to, to develop their, their uh, uh, further and to create this important. If you see, they already came to a budget of one million US dollars, etc. They are really competing with many other companies, especially their role in high performance computing is very important for Armenia and for, for the region, I believe. Uh, this is important part, unfortunately. Uh, so if to see what kind of co uh, directions they are covering, it is nationwide, nationwide services, fundamental applied computer science, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, they are really occupying leading positions here. I would like also to, to, to move then to the synopsis in Armenian Educational Department and hear uh, uh, what is its role, that it, is, it, it already has uh, a has possibility to create a unique educational model to cover all the universities, all the leading universities of Armenia within this model and to prepare it, uh, to, to provide educational, which are covering like uh, needs of these uh, universities in area of um, and microelectronics and, and and uh, uh, automation tools for 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 electronics, mm -hmm. and, and uh, by the way, the, among the not are only Armenian universities, but also uh, other universities from abroad, and specifically Moscow Institute of Electronic Technic is also among uh, these institutions. Yet, 
Uh, and uh, I would like also to say a couple of words about the educational center, um, IT educational research center at the Irvine State, which was created in 2007 and, uh, and covers this traditional education online and distance learning, and scientific research, and advice very uh, research in, in uh, 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 the idea is uh, that to, to have a pipeline for uh, lifelong education and training and have also research in their environment and, uh, uh, and uh, as a like, landmark for us, big landmark, was the Stanford University. We are really trying to, to come through it, and we came to that. We are using uh, lectures and, and courses of different professors from different universities, and this is very important. Also, we have have connections you see here, uh, famous professor Donald Knut. Uh, we were communicating to him and asking his advices related to our development as well. Uh, and uh, a lot of grants were received. Uh, and uh, here I would like also to mention that we are actively accommodating other universities. And till this landmark of Stanford University, we have planned to have another landmark. But specifically, we are happy that we were able to to uh, within the one of European programs to communicate with Israeli universities. And here I would like to say that we are communicating with uh, mainly with Barilan University. As you know, Barilan University last several years is Isla Lili University in Technology uh, in Israel. And so it is really uh, something like a point for us to, to achieve that level, etc. We are trying very much to according to them, and they were starting, this is, I just took some slides from their, their, their parts, I'm sorry, I, 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 took this. I need to go back. So this is the slides, uh, uh, how they started, and this was their room. We also started in very bad conditions, but I believe probably our were even more worse than there in these conditions we started. But uh, and they grow, they have grown. We have uh, and they have a lot of classes, uh, and I, I have been and attended their laboratories. I'm sorry for that. We have such kind of laboratories, but we don't want to show now because it is already past. We would like to to and I just uh, uh, I just would like to show. Uh, and this is the, how they are developing their uh, nanoelectronic tracks, etc. Uh, and this is our hope, our young people, talented guys, which are, uh, which we believe we will be able to, to work with them and to create similar. And, uh, and we uh, here, I, I would pass this because I'm already uh, late with time. Just wanted to speak about our achievements, which are interesting for this universities. Specifically, what is this when you have shrinking technologies and increase of integrations? The defects which are arising in chips computers are uh, like uh, you, you need to do a lot of simulations, a lot of exhaustion to understand what kind of defects are present in the modern technologies. And this is very difficult because the exhaustion is huge. And each uh, decrease of one nanometer brings to a lot of new defects, etc. So how to reduce these centers? We were able to suggest some notion like fault periodicity table, which, uh, which uh, is a hypothesis. It is about that uh, like faults are, are periodically uh, repeating from technology to technology, but with some additional conditions. And using this table, you can, uh, using, you can, you can provide for coverage of, uh, uh, you can have something like a direct exhaustion, reduce the, sp uh, the, the space for exhaustion. And this is the point uh, I wanted to mention. And uh, to, to, uh, unfortunately, I do not have much time to cover this in, in detail. And as well as, uh, and the last slide is that we are planning to, to, to have so, something like a, to introduce a culture of internship in our uni in our center. And to make this acting, we have invited all, all the companies to, to, to come and to receive rooms. Uh, without any payment, without any support, uh, all, everything we will cover by ourselves. But the idea is that they have to 
take three or four students as interns and work with them. Uh, they, of course, they have to interview them and choose. We are not uh, like um, insisting to hiring some any student. They they are doing it by themselves. But the idea is that they are obliged to have yearly three or four interns. This brings to the possibility of having internship at our. Start. This is probably all I wanted to thank you, and let's move to questions. I'm sorry for this delay, four minutes delay. I would like to take Gracious. this moment to, to, to thank Professor Shukurya for his comprehensive presentation and interesting presentation. Now we will move on to the Q&A session and please ask your questions in the Q&A panel. So please go ahead. So please go ahead to ask your questions to Professor Shukuria. We have a question from Mr. Freeman. How do, you do reverse engineering projects avoid patent infringement? Uh, uh, okay, thank you for the question. Do you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Uh, yes, we can hear uh, you. Okay, thank you. So, um, uh, related to this, we, uh, uh, well, well, for example, uh, what was done relating to, uh, like, uh, uh, the, the, uh, 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 when you, uh, you, you are box by yourself and are changing, uh, are considering this prototyping and uh, changing completely according to the rules to avoid avoid any any difficulties and violations of law uh, using uh, um, in in the usage of microcode this was the, uh, this is an important po po point for example what i said about this uh, dynamic uh, adaptation system uh, all the code was was developed completely at at uh, the mergilan institute and uh, Nothing was used. Uh, we changed a lot in the, uh, the uh, and uh, co completely rewrote uh, the, the existing codes. And, and uh, but uh, because we had tools, we had the possibility to understand and uh, huge um, uh, instruments for debugging the codes and determining the faults and 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 uh, fixing the bugs and uh, and uh, then developing a new version which was better, which was optimized in comparison with the, with the previous one. Uh, 
this is briefly. This is one example. The second example is that uh, when a prototype is like one integrated circuit and you are considering instead of it four integrated circuits and are introducing pipelines and different other uh, like uh, blocks to, to, to cover uh, the problems which might ar arise uh, with timing with like power dissipation with other other uh, several problems related to design uh, in, in principle you are receiving a new design and then you are patenting design according to that and people experts are looking and, and considering whether there are violations or not and they they are responsible for like uh, fixing violations right this is probably my answer Hello. Thank you. Any Thank feedback? You. Any more questions? Uh, before uh, the questions, I would like to say that slides will be available to to, to participants. So, so uh, uh, and so you can uh, look in detail on the presentation because. Uh, some parts I, I was like uh, them presenting in rush some rush and probably not all the details I was uh, describing I was describing all the details so in this case you can have more uh, detailed view and then uh, whether if, if you have questions you can apply to me my email addresses are present in the presentation So if there are no any more questions, I would like to thank all of you for attending. And just a small information for you, the next in series of webinars on history of computing will be, be telling our stories, how IEEE Computer Society develops professionals by David Alan Greyer on November 9th at 11 o'clock US Eastern time. We will have several others in this series as well as others in the Distinguished Lecturer webinar series. The registration is open. And before to close, we have one more question, I think. So, Mr. Sevak Amirhanian is asking, I would like to ask a global tendency which is making roots in Armenia as well. Are you okay with that fact that the people without any mathematical or technical background and enter to the industry after six months boot camps. Don't you think that academic knowledge is, is a must for this profession? Uh, uh, understand. Um, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, I, I would like to uh, answer. The, uh, we were speaking about uh, heritage and about uh, the traditions. In some sense, of course, uh, uh, our specialty is very broad, and it contains different kind of steps and different kind of works inside the, prof uh, the, the specialty. Specifically, uh, co coding is very important for our specialty and people who are able to 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 cover coding and and, and uh, the mass productions of coders and for coding i believe it is not much necessary to have a full like academic education you can uh, i believe that coders can can be uh, educated within within the existing trainings for which are very very shortened programs uh, educational program. Uh, but uh, meantime, when we are speaking about the research, about the innovation, about creation of new things, I do believe strongly that it is impossible to achieve without strong uh, academic knowledge, without uh, like uh, uh, without corresponding education. It will be not possible to, uh, uh, to 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 become a specialist, uh, and I believe that because uh, that we should directions, 
which uh, and and be strong in that kind of stuff and uh, uh, because otherwise we will not be able to compete just uh, in comparison uh, you know that for example um, india is producing like um, uh, um, uh, approximately uh, like uh, uh, 10 million specialists in IT domain, right? And if you will take like even uh, one from 1,000, it is already 10,000 people. And uh, so this means that uh, we, we, we need to, to, to be unique, to be as, uh, and have to have, Uh, and uh, of uh, our specialty to 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 uh, to, 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 uh, to okay so this is the uh, this is the point uh, i wanted to underline thank you and we have one more question from mr hunter Thank you for this very interesting presentation. I was curious, I didn't hear more involvement with, with East Asian companies. Is this inter intentional or did I ju just miss something? Um, uh, I, 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 I missed some part of the question. Is it possible to highlight me that, that just to see? What is uh, to, to so to you didn't the screen, mention uh, you did question. you didn't mention about the collaboration with the East Asian companies. Mm -hmm. This is intentional or he missed something. No, no, no. It is absolutely not intentional. We we know that Samsung and other companies are all also very much interested in developing in, in in making research and development activities in Armenia. But they are working with the teams with some startups here. Uh, it, it absolutely it was not intentional. Just uh, time was I was restricted, and this is the reason I didn't mention. As you see, I mentioned companies which came to to the level like minimum eighteen million, something like this. So it is. This is the point. Uh, but uh, this is my fault, and uh, I promise that next time when I'll have an extended presentation with less limitation in the time, uh, in time. Uh, I, I, of course, I'll add uh, this data as well. Thank you so much. Once more, thank you for your participation. And as I mentioned in the beginning, the webinar is recording and we will share the link to you. And let me close the session. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you very much.